ladies and gentlemen, it has been one week in the meaning. I am, I, I listen, 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 listen. I am ready. Bleach 665. Urihara's Bankai finally revealed. It's been eight, eight long years, man. If you guys have been weekly for as long as I have, if not maybe even a little longer, Christ Almighty, man, we've been waiting this forever. We've been waiting for this forever. And this is going to be a, a huge moment for me. As a personal Kisuke fan who's almost always had him in his top five, this is a bonk I've been wanting to see basically the entire series. So I, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped and excited for it, and, and, and uh, I really hope that doesn't disappoint. Kubo, Kubo usually doesn't disappoint me when it comes to things like this, but it's Kisuke's Bankai, man, and I'm... I can't believe it. I, I honestly can't believe I'm about to experience this. But that that is what's awesome about having a YouTube account. That I get to experience this moment with a lot of other individuals. And I also get to have this thing recorded. You know, just, just, just for history's sake. So here we go, guys. Bleach 665, the princess dissection. And here we see Kisuke. Oh, well, it looks like you're actually serious about trying to kill me here. Now leaving me with much of a choice then. Bankai. <laughs> Even then you see Asuka and he's just looking up, he's shook, he's like, what can it be? Oh, I can't wait to see the different angle the Kubo's about to use to show to showcase the Bankai. Oh, this is beautiful art. Oh, this is the same one that my boy Josh Shore shared with me. It was either Josh or it was, it was David, one of the two, but I saved that pic. This is beautiful fan art. Absolutely beautiful. I, I absolutely love, love, love that picture, man. She's, she's, she's just covered in red. It looks awesome. Oh, man, another one. Oh, my. Yo, these, these, these Deviant artists are ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Shout out to them. This one looks good, too. Hell, yeah. It looks freaking awesome. Oh, and here we see she she's just towering over him, man. Kanobiraki Benihime Aratame. Uh, in all her majesty. Hell, yeah. Bleach 65. Uh, the term can mean to fling open double doors from the center or to fillet an animal by cutting it up the center and peeling back its flesh. This is important to keep in mind here. Jesus, wait, 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 what? The term can mean to fling open double doors from the center or to fillet an animal by cutting it up the center and peeling back its flesh. By the gods! <laughs> the princess dissection. and a Beautiful angle right here. Freaking awesome sauce. Let's, let's see what's going to happen here. What, what the hell am I looking at? I feel you asking, but it, it, you can't deny its beauty. It looks amazing. It looks majestic. It looks great. Let's see. How Did you say Bankai? That's not right. There wasn't anything on your Bankai, and the intel His Majesty gave me. Well, of course, he hasn't used it in, the t in, that, in that time period. This is the first time I've ever used it in front of you people here. Damn straight. You know, it really makes me think. It's like... Is Kisuke said that this Bankai isn't really used for training purposes, so whenever he was training his Bankai, like, like seriously, what, what, what was he doing then? Like, how? How did he train it, you know? Like, it's interesting. I see. So that's how it is. And plus, the, he, this man, this is the same man that mastered this Bankai in three days. It took him tres dias. So that, that that's, that's amazing. And I might as well ask, just in case, exactly what kind of power does it possess? Don't do it, Kisuke. For the love of God, <laughs> don't do it. Asking me such a personal thing, that's more of a second date type of question. <laughs> hey, he's a good man for that. Heck yeah, dude, don't answer that, man. Please, please don't answer. Please don't turn into a Shinji. I will break this camera. <laughs> don't turn into a Shinji. What can I say? I like to move fast. Either way, I figured I'd try to try seeing as how facing that thing head on is enough to make me soil myself. Very well, then. This The thing is... Even if I don't tell you, be close to my personal with it soon enough. Yes! He's not telling him. GC Shinji, take notes. Get out a pen and paper. Get out something just like this, like a college notebook. You're going to open it like this. And I, this is what I want you to do, Shinji. I want you to go directly on there to the last page. And I want you to go just like this. And note to self, do not be me. Follow Kisuke Urahara. And that's it. That's it. That's all he has to do. Because if, if he does that, he's successful. He will be successful in 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 in, in life. Eh, seriously, live on my boy Keys. Hey, man, that's what I'm talking about. I'm loving loving this dialogue between him and asking here. Really playful, really fun, and, and that's just the type of dialogue I love in Bleach. What? The, <laughs> wait, what the heck? <gasps> His skin is actually being opened, like I said in the um in in the beginning. But it looks like it's entering like a different dimension here because you see inside. It doesn't really look like blood. It doesn't look like the inside of flesh. It kind of looks like another universe in there, or another like it's it, like it, it looks like. If you enter that that hole, it will literally send you to another dimension, or another plane of of, of space, or or something. That that's crazy. 
Look at that thing. It, it's opening just his skin. Oh, oh, and it's doing it all over his body. If, if, if he's feeling that pain, the pain by itself is enough of this Bankai being axed. The pain. The complete and utter pain that he must be feeling, if he can feel it, is out of this world. You know, but it's a good thing that it's used against Askin, because Askin doesn't really feel pain in, 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 that, in that type of sense, so that's really awesome sauce. But against anyone else, God, keep, keep, that, that, that has to hurt. That has to Your flesh being peeled? Oh my, I don't even, oh. Yeah, it, 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 we complain sometimes about, like, sometimes getting our fingers, or sometimes getting, like, something... But this right here hurts, yo. Ow. Dang, and it's, it's, it's happening in multiple different parts of his body. His entire arm got taken off. As cool as the other side of a pillow, most people would be shocked and panicked at the sight of their arm being split open. But just as you've as ascertained, my Bankai's effect has a range. Uh -huh, I don't have the backbone to sit back and let my arm get torn apart. What the... You may have seen through that attack just now. What is he doing? But Khan... Wait, wait, what's she doing? Is she covering him? But Khan Nonan Biraki Benihime's uh, abat, uh, Abatame's ability is... is the power to restructure anything it has touched. And you see Kisuke getting stitches upon his face, looking completely and utterly beast. I can't lie. This right here looks awesome, Sauce. And you know what? You know what? You know what this panel reminds me of. If you guys have ever read Soul Eater or watched Soul Eater, it reminds me of Professor Stein in this panel. And I've always thought Stein had one hell of a design. I, I think Stein probably had my favorite design in the, in the show. And Professor Stein, dude, it, 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 look, he's he looks beast. He has the stitches. He kind of reminds me like like he kind of has like a little hollow mask growing here. It looks cool. Looks really cool. And here we see Ask, and he's just completely, notably shocked. You know, the question marks are upcoming. Exclamation points, and oh, and Kisuke just goes right by him. Whoosh, yes! This is what I want to see! That's what I want to see, bro! That's all I wanted? Yes, and, and he's still not overpowering him because we know how hacked Askin is. So this is literally turning... Oh, that's a beautiful panel right there, guys. When that gets animated, that's going to be amazing. So here we see... And this really reminds me right here of, of Ichigo versus Byakuya type of, of panel choreography, which is absolutely beautiful. We see Askin looking back with one of his eyes, but we then we see Kisuke, and we see, like, it's like a, a kind of... I don't like how Sunrise does it sometimes, where you, you see it's like a handheld type of thing where, like, you're following the person. It looks really, really cool because you see Kisuke, and you see his eyes moving over, and then the following panel, it's like the whenever Ichigo clashed with Byakuya type of panel, where they clash, and it's... Ugh. Really, really good stuff. I, I'm already loving the choreography here. What you can see, but your eyes, they, they were dead on the spot. Oh, I can see. After all, they've been restructured as well. Yeah, man, because that's awesome. That's one hell of an ability. And now you see that his, his arms, yo, Kinsuke's ability, he's right. This isn't used for training purposes. Hear that? You can't trade with this. This is insane. Look at his hand, and, and he's just just restructuring it as, as, as it as it is. This is cool. Here you see Askin's looking down, he's about to get wrecked, he's about to get this magnum laid on him. And here we see a huge shockwave in the air, you know, indicating I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to assume is, you know, Benihime's regular ability with the fume. So that, that's what I'm going to assume here, Askin gets sent flying, we see little Kisuke right here. Bro, and he, this is the DC, Oh no, 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 not like this. Anything but this. This is just turning into a battle of brute force versus brute force. And you see Askin holding this humongous thing. Even after I was kind enough to let you drag me into your field and then let you sit set the pace for a minute there, you didn't even capitalize on that. Instead, here we are, just duking it out. That's called blooded Udahara Kisuke. But no matter what you throw at me, you're still far from perfect. Or have you forgotten already? Oh my. This gift ball deluxe is an inescapable poison for trees. This is what I want to see. I don't want to see somebody getting wrecked. Next chapter, somebody comes back. The next chapter, somebody gets wrecked. What I want to see is an even battle, and this is what it's giving me. I I'm already loving it more than every, more than possibly every single other battle we've had in the, in, in, in the past like twenty chapters. Be this is beautiful. Well, besides my, my the Mario fight was godlike, but yo, dude, yes. So I'm, look, look at the size of this thing. My God, is an inescapable poison for tr fortress. I said for trees, fortress. Insane. The one and only reason you're still breathing inside of here is because I'm still dialing it in to just the right amount. I love how Kisuke's just trolling. Oh dear, anything but that. <laughs> you can increase concentration inside this gift ball that looks even further. When even now, it's taking all my strength. Just crawl about the ground. I love this guy. 
that was pathetic. Like, I'd fall for that. Even <laughs> and even if you were just crawling around the ground, your bunkai is not something I want to trifle with. As you got, as, as you got me as perceptive as ever. But you miss one little thing. And a thing of blood just splatters out. What, what just happened? What the hell? Is that a heart? Wait, wait, wait. Is that his heart? Wait, what happened? What happened? It's been on my mind this entire time. This gift off the lux of yours, you kept saying it was inescapable, but you never mentioned it was impenetrable. So I thought I'd give it a try. What is that, dude? It's like a black arm covered in arm and hockey if you're a One Piece fan. By the gods! And it just goes right to his chest! Man, this is gruesome! And from the outside of the ball, I was able to create a path to infiltrate it. And you see all, all these stitches, you know, coming across there on the floor. Really, that was that's a really, really beautiful panel, though, because it's like as if we're seeing it through the arm's perspective. So, like, right on top of the knuckle, that, that's the kind of perspective we're seeing it from Askin. So, like, we're seeing the camera, like, it's placed on top of, of the thing. That, that's uh, really cool. That's really cool. I really like that, that type of thing he's using. Thanks for the advice. Yo, this is crazy. What the? <gasps> Grim! Wait a minute, bro. And he's in Resurrex. Yo, wait. <laughs> Hold on, bro. So, wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. I'm mad confused. I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Grim, no. Wait, 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 wait. Thanks for the advice. And we see... So Grimja was the one holding that heart. Grim, yeah, yo, dude, this is crazy. And he's at the Pantana form and everything. And you see, he goes like, as as he grasps in the heart. So like, you see him like he's, he's squeezing that that heart, but you see that he's like, a, that he's gonna, is he like it's in pain or something? Something's going on with Grimja here. Now, granted. We do know that Kisuke and Grimjow did make a, a sort of contract thing, you know, back in like chapter 500. But, yo. Bruh. <laughs> Grimjow is here. I didn't expect that. And the thing the thing is about it is, but like this this final panel really has me like like shook him. I'm, I don't know what to think of it because he, he's like looking, he's like, Chuh. and And yet he, it's, it's, it's weird because like I don't want it to be like the type of thing to where that's his heart that's being hurt because that, that would that would be that would suck, Grimjaw dying in this manner. But still, like, Grimjaw came up in there. He's, that was the oh, okay. So overall, overall thing, I, I love this chapter, and I'm gonna tell you guys why, right? If you if you don't already know, you know, waiting for this bonkai for so long, I never knew exactly what I wanted to to, to get from it. For for God's sakes, this ability is crazy. And then the battle wasn't even one-sided. You know, Askin was still going in as well. So that was fun. And then, of course, we get to see the, the right here in the ending there. I love how it's about restructuring and, you know, how he, even, how he even got his eyes back through the Bankai. And I understand why it's not for trading purposes. I really do. And I can wait to see what... Because we know that with Keyscape, all of his abilities can be, you know, they can go even further. You know, how much he's done with the Shikai. I can only imagine what more he can do with his Bankai. So, I'm interested, though, because this is definitely... I don't see this being the end of Askin. Something's about to happen. I really do think so. Something's about to happen, but... I love Kisuke's Bankai. 100%. I, I really, really do like the ability. Um, Grimjaw showing up. Great surprise. I didn't expect it. I thought that hand was just a hand. He, like, like, he just created through, like the restructuring thing. Maybe, like, he had the ability of with the stitches controlling a hand that was up there. I love that one panel. I love the couple panels. The one that was really nice, fight choreography, which was, like, them going back and then, whoosh. The other one, of course, is with the hand going up. And you see, like, from the camera angle looking back, it looks pretty cool. But, man, Grimjaw is here as well. So, great, guys, great sauce of a chapter. Really, really enjoyed this week's chapter of Bleach. Yo, like he's he's abilities hacks. It, it it there really it really is crazy because I I just imagine it if it wasn't him because the thing is with Kisuke too. Now I I'm not I'm not sure if whenever it peels off the skin I'm not sure if that hurts. You know I mean I'm going to assume it hurts, but if it even if it just even if it doesn't hurt he's still controlling that. You know, with his Blanca, he's controlling all like that's insane. And, and but what was up with that whole thing? It looked like it, it, it looked like if he if if he entered that little thing, 
he would be able to enter like a different dimension. It's 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 weird, but maybe that's just the artwork, I guess. But great sauce of a chapter. Really, really enjoyed it. Kisuke's Bankai is not disappointing one bit, and Grimjaw's here. I'm just curious on what this little ch here at the end means, but I guess we'll find out next week. You guys have been awesome today. Leave me a thumbs up below what you guys thought about Kisuke's Bankai. Does it live up to your expectations? Were you expecting something else? Um, are you happy that Grimjaw's back and he's here and he's ready to go? Uh, I'm my boy Askin as well, so. I'm happy. I'm, I'm freaking happy, dude. This is awesome sauce. So you guys have not for today. Bleach for the win. We're in the lake swimwear, and I'm excited. Yeah.